interrupted. Um, when I started uh, thinking about like what I want to do for a final major project, I w realized that there's so much going on right now that I couldn't focus on one specific thing. I wanted to create a plea, spread awareness about um, everything that's going on on our planet right now, whether it's um, to do with racism, feminism, the effect on our environment that climate change is having, like everything. Also, because it was speaking for the interrupted, speak for people that can't always speak for themselves, whether it's um, people in like war, con like conflict countries, or people that physically couldn't speak. So I did a photo shoot with a girl with um, autism who uh, was uh, non-verbal, so I wanted to like share her story, things like that. This image over here is a self-portrait shoot I did because I wanted to use all different kinds of like um, like media and different types of um, like methods and stuff when I was like, creating all my work. So this was um, about uh, marriage, um, like young marriages, like child brides, also um, the religion side of it. It was mostly about not being able to control, being forced to do things that you don't always want to do and then also putting myself into it to make myself vulnerable within my own work. And then this was well, this one was also part of the shoot. So this one um, was like me with like cable ties, restricting myself, um, showing me kind of trying to break through, kind of trying to speak but not being able to. So taking the like title of my project really literally. This uh, image here was actually I put my friend in like a bin bag because I saw these things online about like people going into like kitchens and stuff and messing around with their colleagues and like pulling all the air out of bin bags and stuff and like just like watching them as they like fall over and I thought it was really funny I was like oh I want to try it and then when I did it I was like actually this is like really really relevant because at the beginning it was kind of a bit like a joke and then like actually this is really relevant because it's showing people like they didn't have an identity so they were just a blank shape that was kind of alien looking like it was a bit um, unrecognizable and I wanted to then screen print it so that I could show like the vast amount of people that are by higher like powers whether it's a king or um, a president whatever they're kind of just seen as a mass population and they're seen they haven't got these identities they're just seen as a number all the backdrop is all of these like newspapers and they're all from like the 1960s they're kind of mostly um focused on like the jfk assassination because i thought that would add like the martin luther king so i thought it was like really really important so i was like it's part of um my past because i have family that has grown up in america family that have, um, but from Ireland, it kind of connected the two and it gave me a personal dimension to it. But I wanted to add it in because it was um, the end of like an era, it was end of like hope, it was end of like a positive personality, positive um, role model to a lot of people. A lot of people were very sad about it, a lot of it really affected a population and I wanted to show something that kind of took people back from not just what's happening now, but something that has always happened through like generations um, and I wanted just to show that it is still happening now, still affecting us and like yeah just raise awareness about it. So um, I'm going to Bristol UWE, I'm going to do photography. Um, I wanted to do photojournalism, documentary photography um, because I've always wanted to just kind of like tell stories for stuff and I guess it was kind of hard this project so I want to do so much but um, yeah I want to go to Bristol, I want to yeah tell stories and photography. Definitely. It's been good. I mean, I didn't start here. I started at, um, I went to another sixth form first, and then I did my level three, my first year level three last year. And then um, a couple of my lecturers were like, you should be doing level three, you should like, go on to foundation, you can do it, we'll, like, get you in, we'll get you doing it. Um, so yeah, I was like 17 when I went on to foundation. And then, yeah, it's been so good that like, all the lecturers are so supportive. They all like really push you to like, be like the best you can be. And like, it sounds like everyone will say that, but like, literally they really do. And because they've all been there and had the experience, you know, you can trust them. It's been really good. Everyone's been like really welcome. So I've like made so many friends here. I think it's just like the place, like everyone's just so friendly, so like down to earth. I think because like, like art is so unique, you can all be your own person, you don't have to like compete with each other or anything, like it's not about like how clever you are, but you can kind of just like be you and do what you want to do.